Okay, as you can see in today's video, I am going to go over what is voltage. Now, I'm not going to go over it in great detail. I'm just going to do a little discussion about what voltage is, specifically as it relates to circuits with resistors and capacitors. There are several different terms that you need to be familiar with. Voltage is one of them. The others are current, resistance, capacitance, and charge. And it's important that you have a general understanding about what these things are, specifically when you're dealing with the equations such as Ohm's law, V equals I times R, the voltage equals the current times the resistance, and as I like to call it, the capacitor equation, Q equals C times V, or the charge is equal to the capacitance times the voltage. It's good if you have just a general understanding about what these terms mean. So today we're going to talk about what is voltage. Okay, now voltage is simply a measure of the electric potential energy per unit of charge. I just like to think of it as how much energy the electrons have. Is it a 9 volt battery? Is it a 12 volt battery? Is it a 1.2? Is it a 10 or 12 volt power supply? Voltage is just the amount of energy per unit of charge. The energy, the electric potential energy, is measured in joules. The unit of charge is the coulomb, so volts are measured in joules per coulomb. Energy per unit of charge. Now, the symbol for voltage is V. Now, that might seem obvious, but remember, they're not all that obvious because the symbol for current is I. But in this case, it's relatively straightforward, voltage, abbreviation, symbol, V. The metric unit for voltage is the volt. The abbreviation for the volt is V. So once again, it's just V, volt, V. Okay? Now, what is one volt? One volt is equal to one joule of electric potential energy per coulomb of charge. Once again, it's joules per coulomb. So really, a volt is an abbreviation for joules per coulomb. One volt is one joule per coulomb. Joules per coulomb, electric potential energy. Now, when we write this down, we often write down voltage equals 12 volts. Now, a little bit more often, we actually just abbreviate this V equals 12V. We don't say V equals 12V. We say the voltage equals 12 volts. Okay? So, that's all I want to do. I want to just give you a little bit of a sense what voltage is. Oftentimes, when I see students doing calculations, they're doing the calculations, they're getting the right answers, which is good, but I get a sense sometimes that they don't really have a little bit of background about what these terms mean. So, that is what I think you should understand for voltage. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.